my lord i hope you are fine i have a question for you why is it so difficult to break habits why is it so difficult to break habits like while driving you know it is bad to receive a phone call still you receive or someone has a bad habit of smoking and wants to get rid of it but finds it's difficult someone wants to reduce weight but finds it's really difficult to forbid eating chocolates drinking carbonated drinks etc how do young children acquire the ability to learn a language how what is intelligence and how does it vary from one person to another person what does an iq test really means so yes i have the answers to all of your questions to begin with imagine all of your thoughts as if they were physical entities swirling rapidly inside your mind how is it possible that brain is able to move from one thought to another thought uh, in an organized orderly fashion our brain is always active the brain is perceiving information every time then the information perceived is processed by our brain the process of planning organizing and remembering the information is always active in our brain remember some of your friend told that he's going to uh, have a party this weekend and your brain remembers that okay she'll be going uh, to a party that's a nice place yet most of your brain's activities you don't notice as you move throughout your daily routine okay this is one of the complex processes of cognition that we are going to understand okay what is cognition you might have heard this uh, word cognition several times but here today i'm going to answer your this question what is cognition cognition is thinking yes cognition is thinking and it encompasses the all those processes which are associated with perception knowledge problem solving judgment language and memory yes cognition is thinking and it encompasses all the processes associated with perception knowledge problem solving judgment language and memory scientists who study cognition are searching for ways to understand how we integrate organize and utilize our conscious cognitive experiences without being aware of all the unconscious work that our brains are doing okay after waking up in the morning do you plan the task that you are going to do in a day or not some of you plans and some of you just don't but you know that yes you have to go to college at 9 or office at 9 it is a, it is a kind of plan that you know you are going to do this task For example, deciding that at 6:30 a.m. you would do gymming and return around at 8:30 a.m. then get dressed up for the office etc etc. This is a plan. Yes. You are organizing your task. Now these thoughts are an example of cognition at work. Okay? That means your brain is constantly at work. Cognition is thinking. You are constantly thinking. If you are planning your task, if you are organizing anything, that means your brain is working. And this is an example of cognition at work. So, as far as we have discussed cognition, we conclude that cognitive psychology is the field of psychology dedicated to examine how people think. Right. Cognitive psychology helps us understand why we think the way we are thinking and why some people are better at problem solving than others. Cognitive psychology also helps us to understand how emotional intelligence affects success in the workplace. Cognitive psychology also helps us focus on how we organize our thoughts and information gathered from our environment into meaningful categories of thoughts and uh, this concept will be continued in my next podcast 
Stay tuned in guys. The content credit goes to OpenStax. Link to their website is available in the description. Hope you are doing fine in your life.